So if you've been following Julian Assange and his whole trial debacle, all this, the WikiLeaks stuff, you'll know that he was supposed to be extradited back in 2019 to the U.S. He was actually, um, it was all a go. And then he's he's been, uh, you know, he's been appealing, appealing. And, you know, five years later, he's still over in the U.K. Just literally, I think yesterday or today, he had another appeals process that uh, that they actually overturned the extradition for now. So he might not be coming for a little while. I'm going to read this article. This is the BBC. Um, BBC's weird, but whatever. We'll see what they have to say here. So why WikiLeaks Julian Assange faces US, U.S. extradition demand. Okay. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has won the right to appeal against extradition to the U.S. where he is accused of disclosing military secrets. The decision means Mr. Assange's lawyers can challenge U.S. assurances about how his trial would be conducted. As a teenager, Mr. Assange gained a reputation for computer programming. In, 90, in 1995, he was fined for hacking offenses in his native country, Australia, but avoided prison after promising not to do it again. Hey, promise. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, that usually works. Mr. Assange founded the WikiLeaks website in 2006. He claims to have published more than 100 million documents, including many confidential or restricted official reports related to war, spying, and corruption. In 2010, it released a video from a U.S. military helicopter which showed civilians being killed in the Iraqi uh, capital, Baghdad. It also published thousands of confidential documents supplied by former U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning. These suggested that the U.S. military had killed hundreds of civilians in unreported incidents during the war in Afghanistan. Okay, so uh, in 2019, the U.S. Department of Justice described leaks as one of the largest compromises of classified information in the history of the United States. Lawyers for the U.S. authorities uh, said publishing uh, the information had named the individuals in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, or had put the named individuals in Afghanistan and Iraq at risk of serious harm, torture, or even death. Mr. Assange insisted that the files exposed uh, serious abuses by U.S. armed forces and that the case against him was politically motivated. He was accused of conspiring to break into its military databases to acquire sensitive information and was charged with 18 offenses. U.S. authorities began extradition proceedings to bring Mr. Assange to the U.S. If convicted, his lawyers say he faces up to 175 years in jail. However, the U.S. government says four to six years is more likely. It's a little bit of a swing. <laughs> like, oh, you can face up to 175 years. Listen, let, let you do four. Okay, so in 2019, the U.S. extradition request was granted after a series of court hearings. However, Mr. Assange has fought to overturn the decision. In 2021, the U.K. High Court dismissed claims that his poor mental health meant he might take his own life in U.S. jail and ruled that he could be extradited. Didn't happen. 2022, the, the Supreme Court upheld that decision, and then, then Home Security Pretty Patel, very pretty, confirmed the extradition order. However, Mr. Assange returned to the high court and on the 20th of May, so today, uh, of 2024, it blocked his extradition, ruling that he needs to be given a full appeal in the UK. He will now have a number of months to prepare his appeal, which will con concern whether the US courts will protect his right to free speech as an Australian citizen. This is kind of key, though, because now if he's got a few months to prepare, this kind of puts him, what, into maybe September, October, let's say? before any kind of trial happens. We're right into election season in the States. And if, uh, if Biden doesn't get a second term and Trump gets in, I could see him, I could see this kind of being squashed. I could see him getting a pardon. So there's been push for him to get pardoned pardon for a little while. I'm surprised actually that Trump didn't do it before he left uh, the White House the first time, but we'll see. So, this is kind of good for him as far as the timing. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, this keeps going on. Uh, apparently he had some problems in the Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, what else? Uh, it talks about his wife, but nothing, nothing, to, uh, uh, nothing to get into. So yeah, so he's not getting extradited yet. And if, you're, if you are a Julian Assange fan, he might be looking at a pardon. At some point, by the time he does get extradited to the U.S., it could be right in the middle or just after an election cycle, which would be good for him, I think. But we'll see. Like I said, Trump didn't pardon him the first time around, so maybe he's not pardoning him this time either.